hi guys welcome back to kids explorer my name is CJ and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make Christmas invitation cards on pic collage so first of all you gotta install the pic collage app and the first thing which comes when you open the pic collage app is this page so you can see that there's a lot of templates here on different occasions so I want to make one for Christmas so you can see here Christmas cards this way so here are all the templates there's many templates you can choose from whichever one you like so I would choose mm, this one the one over here the red one so I'm gonna click on it and I got this page now if you click on anywhere you can get this tab where it shows you the photos the web image the text the stickers the backgrounds and the doodle so you can add any of them L first let's add the stickers so you can see there's a lot of stickers some of them are free and some of them are paid so you can choose any of them i stick to the ones which are free because those are nice but like there's like many stickers for different occasions so you can choose any first of all there's this starter pack where there's like a lot of stickers and these are you know for all occasions but if, if you scroll down you can see these white polar beers and you know more so I'm gonna keep on scrolling to show you the variety of stickers yeah so you can see that there's also the snowflake one which is free and there's a snow wonderland which is free so I'm gonna click on snow wonderland and I'm going to choose this candy one and the snow like right here so I'm gonna click and I'm gonna get this now I'm gonna put this snowflake next to this one you can decrease the size by shrinking the picture and you can increase it by expanding your fingers like this so you can I'm gonna put this one right here next to the other snowflake and this candy I'm going to put it over here next to this holly jolly text it looks beautiful now I need to add some Christmas decorations so I'm going to click on stickers one again and I'm going to search for another sticker so I'm going to search for another one like um, if I scroll a little down see I can see the holiday decorations so I'm going to use this and you can see these are also lovely so I'm going to choose this one and yeah that's it this one is look this one looks nice so I'm going to hang this one over here now there's no Christmas without a Christmas tree so I'm going to click on the web image and I'm going to write here Christmas Christmas tree clip art. That would be the cartoon clip art of the Christmas tree. So you can see there's a variety of Christmas trees over here and they are lovely. Um, I will choose this one over here because this looks really beautiful. I'm going to increase the size and I'm going to put it right here. Like this. Now, if it is uh, not a PNG, if it's not in a PNG format, then you can double tap it and you can see this tab comes up. You can edit it, it and you can change the contrast, the brightness, you can crop it, you can add filters, saturation, the vibrance, and etc. But if you double it again, so you can see that here's a cutout, you can cut it out if it's not a PNG format, like so. And I'm going to click on the arrow button here. Now this place is perfect. You can also do other things like you can duplicate it, you can add it at the back, you can set it at the background and, or you can delete it. So now I'm going to add some text because what's an invitation without a text? I'm going to click again and I'm going to click on the text button. I'm going to write it's an invitation. So I'm going to do it this way, like that. But 
I don't like the text and I don't like the color. I don't like the text font and I don't like the color. So I'm going to change the text font to King Basil. I can choose any because there's like many text fonts like Sunrise, Sun Color, Summer Hearts. See, there's many. But I think the one matches here most is King Basil. So I'll choose this one. I can change the color as well, so I'll change it to white because I think it looks much better and I can also change the background to anyone. But my invitation card already has a background, so I think it'll look better without any background like that. Now when I click on the three dots, I can also change the alignment to which side I want it to be. I think the middle one is better and I can also add an outline, so I'll add one to make it more attractive. Now place it, you can place it wherever you want it to be placed. Here is the perfect spot. But I think we should give some more expression to this. So I'm going to add an exclamation mark. Perfect. Now add more text and I'm going to write now where it's going to be. So I'm going to write here at our holiday. at our holiday party yes this is perfect now I'm gonna write why so I'm going to write here why mm, to share some Christmas cheer but I want Christmas to be in a very bold style, so I'm going to leave some space and I'll show you how I'm going to uh, leave the Christmas as an impact. Because I can, if I change the color, then it'll change for the whole text. So I'm going to make a different, I'm going to add another text and I'm going to change the Christmas part. I'll show you how. Okay, the Christmas cheer. I'm going to leave some space here for the Christmas. Now, I'm going to add again the Christmas. And now I'm going, to, I'm going to add another text. I'm going to write Christmas here like this. But I'm going to choose impact for, no, I'm thinking play fair. I'll choose play fair for this one. And I will put red. And I will put a white background. And no outline. I'll make it smaller and I'll add it here. Okay, so I place it properly in its direction where it's supposed to be. Like here. Here is perfect. Like so. Okay, now I want to write that Santa Claus will be waiting for you. So Yes, so I'm going to change the one to King Basil. I'm going to remove, I'm going to make it this color. I'm going to remove the background and I'm going to put a little, I'm going to put this part of it low, like this. Now this is perfect. I'll put this here next to this gingerbread over here. And I'll add the outline. Perfect. Now this is an amazing invitation card. So as you guys can see, I finished with the invitation card and it looks lovely. It looks like a true Christmas invitation card. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you got it how to make an invitation card. You can make any invitation you can for any occasion like for birthdays, for Christmas, for new year like many upcoming events are coming so you can use pick collage app because it's very easy and simple you can use this app to make invitations and i hope you enjoyed see you in the next video bye thanks for watching
don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to get our latest videos.